We're making two ingredient Valentine's Day fudge. So here I have some melted white chocolate chips with a little bit of red food coloring, a natural red food coloring, and then also some frosting. So I just used the entire bag of white chocolate chips and I melted them and added a little bit of red food coloring. This is the one I used. It's plant-based and all natural, no artificial colors. And then I also took one container of, I used cream cheese frosting, it smells so good. And I just melted that as well. So this is what we have here. And now I'm just going to kind of gently mix these together. So this is going to be a Valentine's Day fudge. So I'm just gonna mix them together. I do want it to have a little bit of the swirl effect, so I'm not gonna mix it too much, but I just want it to kind of be evenly distributed throughout my baking dish. Look at how pretty this is. It's a super easy, fun Valentine's Day treat without the artificial colors artificial sweeteners, all that stuff that we don't necessarily want in our food. So that is literally it, but I am going to, let me smooth this out real quick. I'm gonna add a few extra toppings just to make it a little bit more fun, but you could totally stop right here if you wanted to. It's already gonna be so delicious, but we are gonna add just a couple extra little toppings. So I have some all natural sprinkles here. Got the super cute Valentine's Day ones. And I'm just gonna sprinkle these right on top of our fudge, right on top of our two ingredient fudge. I love sprinkles, so we're gonna add a good amount here. And then I also got some of these freeze dried strawberries, and I thought that these would be really cute to sprinkle on top as well. I'm just gonna kinda crush them up a little bit. I love freeze-dried strawberries. They're such a fun little treat, and I feel like this is making it extra Valentine's Day. So I'm just sprinkling these right on top here. I'm just gonna do a few more. And I think it'll also add a nice strawberry flavor that'll taste really good with that cream cheese frosting. And I'm gonna kinda gently press those strawberry pieces in did you guys know it was this easy to make fudge? I had no idea until I recently saw a similar recipe, but they used peanut butter and vanilla and vanilla frosting. So I wanted to try it with some white chocolate chips and make it into a fun Valentine's Day treat. And then just one more thing we're gonna add is this decorating sugar in the color pink. Again, this has no artificial flavors. It's colored with beet juice extract. I always think that's so cool. Nature's colors are so pretty on their own. I don't know why we use those artificial um, colors and everything. They're not good for us. And nature makes such pretty colors on its own. So added those on top and then maybe just a couple more of these sprinkles. Okay, I think that looks perfect. Just gonna gently press that in. Now I'm just gonna take my little chip clips slash clothes pins off. I always put these on to hold the parchment paper in place. So we are done with those, so make sure to take those off. And now I'm going to put this in the freezer. I literally cannot wait to try this. It smells so good and it looks so pretty, the perfect Valentine's Day treat. So it's gonna go in the freezer for a couple of hours or just until it hardens completely and then we'll cut into it. All right, guys, our Valentine's Day fudge is nice and solidified. It was in the freezer for, I'd say, maybe an hour or so, so it actually didn't take very long. I'm just gonna get it right out of our baking dish. All right, guys, how cute does this look? With all those Valentine's Day colors, we have kind of our white chocolate and the pink swirls, our freeze-dried strawberries, the sprinkles, so we're just gonna cut this into little squares here. Mine is still pretty hard. You can let it sit out of the freezer for a little bit if you want it to be easier to cut, but it's okay if it doesn't look perfect. You kinda want it to break into little pieces like this anyway. All right, and then I'm just gonna cut it into little squares here. 
So like I said, if you have a couple little pieces that break apart, that is totally fine. But basically this is what we're looking for. That nice fudge consistency. This is gonna be so good. And like I said, if you let it sit out of the freezer and thaw just a little bit longer, it will be that perfect fudgy consistency. All right, time to try our two ingredient, super easy and healthy fudge. Oh my gosh, you guys, it is amazing. Tag me in the comments and let me know what you think if you try this out.